All right, today we're going to talk about how to manage and or create forms with RS Form Pro, and that's a paid component. Um, but I get a lot of questions about this uh, nonetheless. You're going to log in and go to Components, and then RS Form Pro, and from here you can manage forms, manage the submissions of the forms, change your configurations, backup, restore, updates, and there's certain plugins as well. Let's go to Manage Forms. Now, once we're here, uh, what we'll notice is here are the three forms that are that are created. Okay. Now, RS Form Pro is going to come with a multi-page example and a regular example as well. But let's first talk about um, how you would actually go about just managing a form that's already there. So here's the quick connect form here for uh, one of my websites. And what you're going to do when you log in is you'll notice there's several tabs uh, along the top. This tab, Components, is so you can actually go in and manage and edit uh, what you're seeing within your form. So, for example, if I wanted to add a text box uh, to this form, I would simply just click on text box, and then I would give it a name. Usually, I like to keep the name singular, so I might just say F name, uh, you know, for first name. Okay, the caption is what's going to be displayed. So then I might type first name, and then you can see it's pretty intuitive. Is it required? Yes or no? Let's say yes. What size do you want it to be? And if someone does it wrong, what do you want the uh, you know the validation or, or error message uh, to be and then you simply click save and then that will add it uh, you know to the form if you've got a form um, and you already have some texture and you want to edit it under the components tab you'll see um, this little edits icon just simply click on edit and then it's actually going to open here on the left make your changes and then click update it's as easy as that and a lot of these I and mean, you'll notice there's a ton of options here that you're going to have to you know just play around with a little bit Here's the layout of the form. How do you want it to appear? Inline, two lines, two lines in columns. You can play with that a little bit. It gives you some theming options. Um, you can go in and edit, you know, the actual form itself. You know, the name of the form, the title of the form, um, where do you want the form to return to, okay, after somebody submits the form, the thank you message. Here's the emails that will be generated and sent to the actual user itself after the form is submitted. And then here's the admin emails. You know, what do you want the admin emails to say to go to the admin? Now, if you just want to use the properties from the form, see this little button here, toggle quick add? You can turn that on, see? And then you can actually bring, you know, copy these. So if you want to, you know, do the full name caption and the value, um, you can just copy and paste these. You just go over here and edit the, H edit the email text, okay? And then you can just go, like I've done here, and just paste the attributes you see here into the body itself. Okay, And so you can see that RS Form Pro is just really a dynamo. You can add scripts to your forms, uh, metadata, etc., etc. And then up here you can preview uh, the form as well. I mean there's a lot to cover in RS Form Pro um, in terms of just a couple minute tutorial, but I think that we covered a couple of the most common things, how to edit the text within a form and how to add uh, things to a form. Now back here on the manage forms, a lot of times what I like to do I simply go to a form I've created before, like one of these examples will work well. Just simply click on it and then go to the top here and click duplicate. And that allows you not to have to start from scratch, you know, every single time. Now just remember something, when you duplicate it, it's going to have the same name with a copy, so you're going to want to click on it and then you're going to want to go into the actual edit form and change the title, okay, so how it appears on the page. So I'm Ryan Dorn, Internet Consultant from Brainswell Media, and, and appreciate you watching these tutorials, and I hope that you find them to be uh, you know, very helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. You can always reach us over at our main website, brainswellmedia.com. You can always pop me a note as well. It's just ryan at brainswellmedia.com. All right, good luck with Joomla. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Take care.